Good evening. I'm Kristen Mays, principal of Urbana High School. I would like to welcome you to our virtual senior recognition for the class of 2020. Tonight's program will have two sections. The local scholarship section will be narrated by school counselor Valerie Leonard. The high school awards section will be narrated by school counselor Laura Morgan. Please welcome Mrs. Leonard to present the local scholarships. Hello. Thank you for joining us tonight. It has been an honor to work with these students for the past four years. They will forever hold a special place in my heart. I'm fortunate to be able to present our scholarships to some wonderful young adults tonight. The first scholarship that I'm going to announce is the Beth Brown Memorial Scholarship. The Beth Brown Scholarship Committee works very hard to choose students who are dedicated to professions in the healthcare field. The students who receive these scholarships this year show dedication and excitement about their future careers. We are happy to present scholarships to Sarah Baldwin. She is the daughter of Craig and Kim Baldwin. She will be attending Clark State Community College to study radiology and MRI. Also, Connor Hayslip. He is the son of Zachary and Jennifer Hayslip. He will be attending Wright State University to study biomedical engineering. And finally, Samantha Tracy. She is the daughter of Todd and Colleen Tracy. She will be attending Otterbein University to study allied health and to compete on their ladies soccer team. The next scholarship tonight is the Dan O'Kane Memorial Scholarship. Now in its second year, the Dan O'Kane Memorial Scholarship was started by his family to honor the former Urbana High School teacher who taught at UHS for nearly 15 years before unexpectedly passing away in May of 2018. The scholarship is awarded to a graduating UHS senior who embodies the spirit of the former teacher who was beloved by many in the community. The O'Kane family is grateful to all of those who applied this year and upon reviewing the applications, there is a consensus that this year's recipient would be Connor Thomas. Connor is the son of Barry and Carrie Thomas. He will be attending the Hobart School of Welding to study combination structural and pipe welding. Our next scholarship tonight is the American Legion Pierce Kearns Post 120 Scholarship. This scholarship is funded by Karen Kearns Dresser to honor her father, Edmund H. Kearns, and is awarded to a graduating senior planning to further his or her education. Two scholarships are being presented to Sarah Baldwin and Austin Rooney. He is the son of Keith and Jody Rooney. He will be attending the University of Cincinnati to study aerospace engineering. Our next scholarship is the Christy Knotts and Renee Donahoe Scholarship. The Christy Knotts and Renee Donahoe Scholarship Fund was founded in memory of two very special ladies from Triad High School. Christy was an outstanding student and athlete who lost her battle against bone cancer in 1993. Renee was a fun-loving, outgoing, and spirited young lady who passed away in an automobile accident in 1994. Both girls took pride in their school and serving in their community. This scholarship has been established in their honor. Congratulations to Colin Battle. He is the son of Kevin and Mendy Battle. He will be attending Ohio Wesleyan University to study zoology. Grant Hauer, son of Greg and Grace Hauer. He will be attending The Ohio State University to study early childhood education. And to Gavin Spence. He is the son of Jeff and Shannon Spence. He will be attending Clark State Community College to earn a transfer degree. The next scholarship is the Rotary Club of Urbana Scholarship. A fund was established by the members of the Urbana Rotary Club to assist three students from each graduating class. The 2020 recipients are Tessa Armstrong. She is the daughter of Jerome and Amy Armstrong. She will be attending Bowling Green State University to study psychology. Also to Rachel Delaney. She is the daughter of Rebecca Bailey and Clay Delaney. She will be attending Akron University to study middle childhood education. And to Hannah Loxley. She is the daughter of Todd and Amber Loxley. She will be attending Ohio Christian University to study early childhood education and intervention specialist. Our next scholarship tonight is the Harmony Masonic Lodge Number 8 Scholarship. 
Harmony Lodge No. 8 Free and Accepted Masons of Urbana will provide the scholarship to a student selected by the Scholarship Selection Committee of the Lodge to help finance the first year of their college education. The 2020 recipient is Rachel White. She is the daughter of Corky and Nicole White. She will be attending Wilmington University to study psychology. Our next scholarship tonight is the Climber Club Scholarship. Congratulations to all seniors from Urbana Climber Club. Climber Club, the official K through eight parent teacher organization for Urbana City Schools, would like to offer a special thank you to the National Honor Society for their many volunteer hours spent helping out at their events. They also want to congratulate all the parents for a job well done in providing bonding experiences and learning opportunities through the years for these cherished Urbana seniors. Climber Club is happy to award two scholarships this year to Grant Hauer and Rachel White. Our next scholarship is the Urbana Athletic Boosters Ed Richards Memorial Scholarship. The focus of the Urbana Athletic Boosters is to promote and support student athletes within Urbana High School and Junior High. Along with athletics, they are also supporters of a strong academic program and help to promote excellence not only on the field, but also in the classroom. As a symbol of their support for both academics and athletics, each year for the past 24 years, they have presented academic scholarships to numerous college and trade bound seniors. In 2020, they renamed their academic scholarships in honor of Mr. Ed Richards, who recently passed away. He was an avid Urbana fan, alumni, and active member of the Boosters. He served as the treasurer for well over 40 years and his dedication to Urbana and its students athletes is something to be admired. On behalf of the Urbana Athletic Boosters Ed Richards Memorial Scholarship, we are honored to present the 2020 scholarships to the following student athletes and wish them all the best in their future endeavors. Colin Battle, Jacob Coffey, he is the son of Gary and Robin Coffey. He will be attending Sinclair Community College to study visual communications. Connor Thomas and Samantha Tracy. Our next scholarship tonight is the Urbana Lions Club Scholarship. The Urbana Lions Club is one of the oldest service clubs in Urbana and they hope to remain a vital support group for our community. Each year, the Urbana Lions Club gives three scholarships to Urbana students. From the submitted applications, the scholarship committee looks at the academics, community involvement, and overall commitment of the students. This year, they are proud to announce the recipients of the scholarship are Tessa Armstrong, Jacob Latimer. He is the son of Mark and Jamie Latimer. He will be attending Akron University to study cybersecurity, and Austin Rooney. They hope the students will soon be able to come to a Lions Club meeting in the near future to introduce themselves to the club. Great job. The next scholarship tonight is the Urbana High School Alumni Association Scholarship. For 28 years, the UHS Alumni Association has been honored to award two scholarships. The scholarships are awarded to one male and one female to support their post-secondary pursuits. Good luck to each of you on your future endeavors and to the class of 2020. Take pride in how far you've come and have faith in how far you can go. This year's scholarship recipients are Jacob Latimer and Natalie Underwood. She is the daughter of T.C. Underwood and Aaron Underwood. She will be attending Columbus State University to study nursing. Our next scholarship tonight is the Clara F. Beck Scholarship. This is an annual scholarship that is given to a high school graduate from a Champaign County High School who intends to pursue a college degree preparing him or her for a career in education. This year, the scholarship is awarded to Hannah Loxley. Our next scholarship tonight is the Nicholas Foss Nursing Memorial Scholarship. The friends and family of Nick Foss award a scholarship in Nick's name to a graduate who wishes to further his or her education in the nursing field. The 2020 scholarship is awarded to Natalie Underwood. 
Our next scholarship is the Burr A. Simpson Memorial Scholarship. The friends and family of Burr A. Simpson, past principal of Urbana High School, award a scholarship to a deserving senior entering the field of education. This year's recipient is Grant Hauer. The next scholarship is the Andy Dellinger Memorial Scholarship. This commemorative scholarship is given to a student who demonstrates the qualities of leadership, citizenship, scholarship, aptitude, and community involvement. The 2020 recipient is Grant Hauer. Our next scholarship is the Mark Smith Memorial Scholarship. Mark Smith was a loving husband, friend, father, and mentor. There was no stranger to Mark, and Mark was no stranger to the people he met and ultimately influenced in an impactful way. Mark always wanted the best for the students he taught as a teacher's aide and coached mostly basketball, some baseball. And he was always there for them at any time, not just in the classroom or on the court. He deeply cared for every student and wanted to bring out their best potential and truly felt that every person has a purpose and encouraged their dreams and aspirations. These scholarships given in Mark's honor go to Grant Hauer and Rachel White. Our next scholarship is the Dr. E. Richard and Charlene Shoup Memorial Scholarship. A vocal group, the Castellaires, who sang while students at Urbana High School, sponsors this scholarship. Dr. E. Richard and Charlene Shoup, who are music teachers in the Urbana City Schools, directed them. This group graduated with the class of 1956. They created a scholarship to honor their former teachers. This year's recipient is Jacob Latimer. Our next scholarship is the Robert K. Martin Music Scholarship. Bob Martin, band director at Urbana High School from 1954 to 1984, was a dedicated teacher who worked tirelessly to build and sustain a quality band program. The program promoted pride in the school and community while providing the opportunity to learn about music and possibly foster a lifelong passion. This scholarship was created to recognize a graduating senior who has demonstrated a passion for music and a desire to share that passion with others. The class of 2020 recipient is Colin Battle. Our next scholarship is the Richard Rice Foreman Scholarship. The Richard Rice Foreman Memorial Scholarship honors a deserving senior from Urbana High School to help fund his or her post-secondary education. The award was granted with the intent of creating an annual benefit to Urbana High School alumni. The scholarship is funded by the family of Mr. Richard Rice Foreman, UHS Class of 1937, who are so greatly influenced by his presence in their lives. This scholarship is awarded to Jocelyn Holtzberry. She is the daughter of Amy and Reagan Eggleston. She will be attending Kent State University to study political science with a minor in communications. Our next scholarship is the Todd Foster Memorial Scholarship. June 5th will mark the 38th anniversary of Urbana High School's first baseball state championship in 1982. A key player in the roster that day was the left fielder wearing the number 10 jersey, Todd Foster. Todd loved the game of baseball and hanging out with his teammates. Unfortunately, Todd lost a bigger game of life several years ago when he lost his battle to cancer. Todd is best remembered as an outstanding teammate who played his best when it counted most. His teammates have joined forces to create the Todd Foster Memorial Scholarship for student athletes at the Urbana High School. This is an annual scholarship given to senior players who best represent Todd's spirit, love for sports, and who will be continuing his or her education in college. The ninth annual Todd Foster Memorial Scholarship recipients are Sarah Baldwin, Colin Battle, and Cheyenne Settle. She is the daughter of Brian and Tabitha Settle. She will be attending Tiffin University to study forensic psychology and to compete on their ladies soccer team. Our next scholarship is the Warren G. Elliott Fund Scholarship. 
This scholarship is for graduates of any high school in Champaign, Clark, Logan, or Greene County to pursue any course of study at any accredited institute of higher education. This year's recipient is Logan Pence. He is the son of Rachel Pence and Neil Pence. He will be attending Wright State University to study computer engineering. Our next scholarship is the Urbana FFA Chapter Scholarship. The Urbana FFA Chapter Scholarship is open to any senior who is a member of the FFA Chapter. Students must complete the National FFA Scholarship application in order to be eligible for the scholarship. The scholarship committee will then select up to three winners for the award. This year's recipient is Rachel Delaney. Our next scholarship is the Urbana High School Student Council Scholarship. The Student Council Scholarship is awarded to applicants who have been a member of the UHS Student Council for four years and have maintained or exceeded a 3.0 grade point average throughout their high school career. This year's recipient is Rachel White. Our next scholarship is the John Dale Firefighter Scholarship. Created in memory of John Dale, who served for 27 years with the Urbana Fire Department as a firefighter paramedic, this scholarship provides financial assistance to dependents or grandchildren of active or retired Urbana firefighters. This year's recipient is Rachel Delaney. Our next scholarship tonight is the Savista Bank Scholarship. Gary Weaver and Savista Bank would like to say on behalf of Savista Bank that they congratulate the Urbana senior class of 2020 on a job well done. They are confident that every one of you will do extraordinary things in your lifetime. They know that each of you will make worthy contributions to your families, professions, and communities in which you serve. Be all that you ever dreamed to be. Best wishes and congratulations 2020 senior class. The Savista Bank Scholarship is awarded to Hannah Lauck. She is the daughter of Walter Lauk. She will be attending Ohio University to study sociology. Our next scholarship tonight is the Warren S. Stevens Educational Foundation Scholarship. Congratulations to all of you in the class of 2020. We would like to give a huge thanks to the teachers and administrators here at Urbana High School. Although the end of your school year didn't quite go as planned, we encourage you to look forward to an even bigger and brighter beginning to your future academic and career aspirations. Warren S. Stevens is a distinguished alumni from the class of 1954 at Urbana High School and a member of the school's Hall of Fame. Warren Stevens served for over a decade on the Urbana City School Board. One of his biggest passions was making sure that all Urbana City School students had an adequate and up-to-date facility to pursue their academic goals. Mr. Stevens' life came to an end as a result of an automobile accident in 2016 as he was on his way to a school board meeting for Ohio High Point Career Center in Bell Fountain, Ohio. In his memory, we would like to present our fifth Warren S. Stevens Scholarship to Hannah Loxley. Our next scholarship is the Catherine Canistrero Mackey Scholarship. The Catherine Canistrero Mackey Scholarship was established in the summer of 1997 when an elementary teacher of Urbana City Schools lost her fight with breast cancer. Kathy was diagnosed with breast cancer in 1994 after her second child was born. After her death, Urbana City Schools administration wanted to honor her with a scholarship eligible to any Urbana High School student graduate majoring in education. This year's scholarship is awarded to Grant Howard. The next scholarship is the Farnham E. Mosley Ohio State University Scholarship. This scholarship is for a student attending the Ohio State University. Mr. Mosley, a member of the UHS class of 1943, graduated from the School of Business at Ohio State University. He had fond memories of his time spent at UHS. The 2020 scholarship recipient is Grant Howard. Our next scholarship is the Warren G. Grimes Ohio State University Scholarship. 
The Grimes Scholarship is awarded to a student from Urbana High School who has strong academic preparation and financial need and who exhibits strong character and citizenship. The recipient for 2020 is Grant Hauer. Our next scholarship tonight is the Urbana Association of Classroom Teachers Scholarship. Each year, the Urbana Association of Classroom Teachers raises funds to award scholarships to members of the graduating class. This year, the association is awarding two scholarships. This year's recipients are Colin Battle and Grant Hauer. Our final scholarship for the evening is the Spriggs Wing VFW Auxiliary Post 5451 Scholarship. The Urbana Veterans of Foreign Wars Auxiliary will award one scholarship to a deserving student based on the essay, What Veterans Mean to Me and Our Country. This year's recipient is Jacob Latimer. Thank you to all of our local scholarship sponsors for their efforts in assisting UHS students in furthering their education. For the next section of tonight's awards, I would like to introduce Laura Morgan, UHS School Counselor. Good evening, students and families. Our high school awards for seniors begins with recognition of our Senior Students of the Month, who are selected in October and February. Senior Students of the Month for October were Lucas Chess and Kelsey Hackley, and our Senior Students of the Month for February are Rachel Delaney and Quentin Hughes. Although already inducted, Urbana High School would like to recognize our Senior National Honor Society members, Stephen Baer, Samantha Baer, Colin Bowdle, Tulaney Brown, Connor Hayslip, Regan Hepp, Alyssa Holland, Jocelyn Holtzberry, Grant Hauer, Patrick Karg, Nicholas Landolfo, Jacob Latimer, Hannah Loxley, Kelsey Murray, Rebecca Preston, Austin Rooney, Annie Saylor, Cheyenne Settle, Gavin Spence, Samantha Tracy, and Rachel White. Senior Student Council members were leaders in coordinating school events such as Homecoming and the King's Dance. Our Senior Student Council members are Tessa Armstrong, Camden Campbell, Madison Dyer, Alyssa Holland, Hannah Loxley, Kelsey Murray, Cheyenne Settle, Raven Spurlock, and Rachel White. The following seniors participated on the PBIS Committee, implementing positive activities and leadership throughout the school. Nazir Crockren, Grant Hauer, Gavin Spence, Raven Spurlock, and Samantha Tracy. Our Spanish 4 and 5 Student of the Year is Alyssa Holland. Mrs. McDonald states, Alyssa has a natural talent for language learning. Although it comes easily to her, she seeks to better her language fluency both in and out of the classroom. She loves to learn about and experience the cultures that surround the languages that she is learning, French, Spanish, and Italian. It has been a pleasure to be her teacher for the past four years and I am excited to see where her language skills take her in her future career. Our French 2 Student of the Year is Regan Hepp. Mrs. Padilla states, Regan is an exceptional student and an absolute pleasure to have in class. To work around her college schedule, she has attended French 1 and French 4 classes in addition to her French 2 class to get additional speaking and listening practice. Her innate ability and experience with Spanish make her a level two student like no other. Congratulations, Regan. Our French three student of the year is Alyssa Holland. Mrs. Padilla states, Alyssa Holland is a remarkable student with a gift and passion for language learning. I had never had a student start mid-year in my career, but agreed to let Alyssa try joining French one mid-year when she was a sophomore. I made this exception based on her impeccable reputation in Spanish and after looking over the French work that she had been doing independently. I'm so glad I did. 
She's been at the top of her class ever since. Due to the scheduling conflicts, she opted to complete French 3 within the French 4 course this year and has fit in beautifully. She is such an impressive language learner and young lady. Great job, Alyssa. Our French 4 student of the year is Jocelyn Holtzberry. Mrs. Padilla states, Josie is an outstanding student in person. It has been such a pleasure to watch her grow as an individual and in the French language over the last five years. In addition to her impressive academic work, her positive attitude and daily participation are much appreciated. I admire all her hard work, creativity, and engagement. I look forward to seeing what she accomplishes in the future. Congratulations, Josie. The Math Senior Student of the Year is Patrick Karg. Mr. Pitzenbarger states, students know who their gifted peers are. Teachers can tell which students are gifted, not only by their grades, but more likely which student garners the attention of their peers. A teacher simply needs to observe who is being asked to confirm homework questions. In my AP Calculus class, you can often hear the phrase, Patrick, what did you get for that question? This phrase is heard for good reason. Patrick is knowledgeable about the content and is quick to tackle challenging material with a great deal of success. Patrick has been a joy to engage with and teach. For these reasons, Patrick is the Senior Math Student of the Year. Our Science Student of the Year is Telaney Brown. Mrs. Zaborowski states, Telaney showed improvement as a physics student from the first to second quarter and has been consistently successful in class ever since. The Science Third Year Award goes to Regan Hepp. Mrs. Zaborowski states, Regan had the highest grade average of all chemistry students for the year. She is very conscientious and thoughtful, as well as very good at lab work. The outstanding career and technical education student is Justin Priest. Mrs. Zakrich states, Justin is currently serving as the Urbana chapter president. He is a five-year member of the FFA and has been extremely active during this time, competing at many career development statewide competitions. Justin earned his state degree as a junior through his dedication to his SAE projects. He is also being honored this year as a state proficiency winner in ag mechanics job placement for his work at Farmers Equipment. Justin has led the FFA to accomplish many community events in his five years. Post-graduation, he will be attending Hobart Institute of Welding to continue his career tech path. Our Social Studies Student of the Year is Logan Pence. Mr. Shelley states, Logan is part of a senior class that I had as freshman, and then, for a wonderful but inexplicable reason, chose to take AP US with me during their last year of high school when others were basking in multiple electives and study halls, this group decided to not just challenge themselves one last time, but to excel in the effort. Most of them ended up within just a couple percentage points of each other, with Logan edging all of them out in the end. When thinking about what set Logan apart from the others, I am forced to conclude that it is because while he doesn't do anything better than anyone else, he does do everything remarkably well. Fully prove an argument with evidence in no more than a paragraph? Check. Write an AP essay while making it clear to the reader what parts of the rubric are being satisfied? Not a problem. Need to cut to the heart of a document and tease out its main idea? Done. I almost hesitate to describe Logan this way for fear of making him sound ordinary but if he could hear me, I am confident that he would sheepishly grin and just nod his head. After all, the really smart ones know it is better to have a wide skill set. The English Student of the Year is Connor Hayslip. Mrs. Denia states, Connor is a thoughtful, analytical young man who approaches his studies and responsibilities with maturity, determination, and consistency. He always strives to achieve at the highest level. In his writing, Connor shows critical and analytical thinking 
and displays advanced diction and syntax. His insight during class discussion moves the ideas of the entire class forward. Our Media Technology Student of the Year is Raven Spurlock. Mrs. Burcham states, Raven is very creative and imaginative and this shows up in her photography. She excels at the more difficult challenges that are presented to her. She's not afraid to take chances and shows originality and an edginess in her editing and she has an eye for composition and color. The Health and PE Student of the Year is Samantha Tracy. Mr. Trenner states, Sam Tracy is a bright spot in our first period class. Having PE first period is not always fun, but she comes in with a smile on her face. Her positive attitude and willingness to help others is contagious in our class. She has a very kind and unselfish demeanor that is a good example of sportsmanship for others. She is blessed with great athleticism and uses it to excel in our games as well as using her knowledge and skills to help other students. Sam will have a bright future. The following seniors are on the All Year Honor Roll. Tessa Armstrong, Sarah Baldwin, Colin Bowdell, Isaiah Brooks, Tulaney Brown, Lucas Chess, Lily Cooksey, Rachel Delaney, Austin Fisher, Ashlyn Hall, Donald Hall, Connor Hayslip, Regan Hepp, Alyssa Holland, Grant Howard, Quentin Hughes, Patrick Card, Jacob Latimer, Hannah Lauk, Hannah Loxley, Nathaniel Lucas, Kelsey Murray, Krish Patel, Logan Pence, Jalen Portis, Braden Portis, Rebecca Preston, Bianca Ratcliffe, Seth Rayner, Cassandra Reese, Austin Rooney, Anastasia Saylor, Sky Sheldy, Robert Schreiber, Gavin Spence, Samantha Tracy, Daniel Westcott, Rachel White, and Alana Zirkel. Our Male Athlete of the Year is Austin Fisher. Austin is a three-time first-team All-CBC selection in football, a highly decorated bowler, and was a three-year letter winner in track. His letters earned conference awards and impact on three athletic programs makes Austin the Urbana High School Male Athlete of the Year. Our Female Athlete of the Year, the Jean Zirkel Award, is Sarah Baldwin. Sarah is a four-year letter winner in soccer, bowling, and softball. She is a three-time all-conference selection in bowling. The impact she had in all three sports makes Sarah the Urbana High School Female Athlete of the Year. This year, the Athletic Department received three applications for the Athletic Department Scholarship from Jacob Coffey, Connor Thomas, and Sam Tracy. Mrs. Mays and Becky Evans had the pleasure of drawing the winner. Congratulations to Connor Thomas! The following seniors participated in 12 athletic seasons over their high school career. Those 12 season athletes are Sarah Baldwin, Lucas Chess, Jacob Coffey, Rachel Delaney, Austin Fisher, Austin Rooney, and Daniel Westcott. Our triple threat athletes, athletes who participated in three athletic seasons this year, are Sarah Baldwin, Lucas Chess, Jacob Coffey, Rachel Delaney, Austin Fisher, Hannah Lauk, Austin Rooney, and Daniel Westcott. This year's CBC Scholar Athletes are recognized by our Athletic Conference for academic success. Congratulations to Tessa Armstrong, Sarah Baldwin, Colin Bowdell, Tulaney Brown, Lucas Chess, 
Lily Cooksey, Rachel Delaney, Austin Fisher, Grant Hauer, Patrick Karg, Jacob Latimer, Hannah Lauk, Logan Pence, Jalen Portis, Braden Portis, Seth Rayner, Austin Rooney, Gavin Spence, Samantha Tracy, Daniel Westcott, and Rachel White. I would like to thank Mrs. Leonard and Mrs. Morgan for their assistance with this evening's program. To our seniors, congratulations. Even under the most unique circumstances, you have excelled. You are now ready for all of the challenges and wonders life has in store. Thank you to everyone for joining us and recognizing our seniors this evening.